I have, in my life, quit every job I've had. And I will continue to do so until I retire. Probably not going to retire, I don't feel like it. Um, I do not regret my degree. I don't regret my decision making leading up to this place. I don't regret my choices generally, which is... I haven't made some nice ones. I have definitely spent a lot of time beating myself up over the way that I've approached situations and I don't know that that's been helpful in any sense really at all. I like to think I place a lot of value in what it is that I do for a living, and not even just for a living, but what, did I, what I do. I think that actions speak louder than words, and I think that I have a writing degree, so that idea is like completely valid, and I'm allowed to say that. I'm excited for this new job, I am uncertain, I am unsure, and I'm trying to learn as much about kind of what I think I'll be doing in a different capacity as fast as I can, and it is not what I expected. But I've signed a contract, I've left Officeworks for well, the second time in two months. And I don't regret leaving the first time, I don't, I, it was terrible and awful and I had a stressful time and I spent my birthday moving rooms in an attempt to downsize my life because I made a choice that meant that my lifestyle was unsustainable. Which is... Not necessarily a decision I would recommend, but I left looking for some change in perspective. And more than anything else, that's what it gave me. And I'm very appreciative of the opportunity that I was provided in going back. But I think I've been honest. And when I handed in my resignation the second time, Emily told me that she knew that I wasn't going to be back for very long. Which was satisfying to hear because she believed it more than I did. I quit my job now twice. Quit jobs that I was in stably for literally nothing promised to me on the other side. I've done now twice. In the name of really knuckling down on projects that I think are more relative to what I want longer term and it has meant that I've had to rely on the kindness and generosity of my friends and my family. I think that as a result of having done these things I am a better version of what I would like to be than I would be if I had not and I think that I don't feel bad and I know that I don't feel bad because I believe that my friends wanted that version of me as well and that they were willing to find capacity within what they had to turn me into this because I am not just my own decisions, I am my relationships with people and my relationships with people are 50-50 and they are give and take and I like to think I am contributing well. I definitely made mistakes. I am doing my best to not regret them on a daily basis and it is not the most straightforward process but it is a process and it is definitely a challenge. I think that at the end of the day we'll mostly what money does is just enable a lifestyle and if the lifestyle that the kind of money that we have is enabling is not satisfying or gratifying or giving us what we think we deserve then I think we have to make changes and I think that life is receptive to changes and I don't necessarily believe that takes the form of some deity stepping in, but I think that people themselves are aware of change and uh, receptive to it and willing to contribute to growth. If you do make choices in your own favour, then you get three weeks in and you realise you've made a mistake, then I think more than anything else, the only forgiveness that you need is your own. 
you believe that you've done the right thing, then other people will as well. And the most limiting thing you can do is trap yourself in your mistakes. And so I start in the gym on Monday. I've quit office works again. And I'm trying like a proper millennial to side hustle. It's taken me three and a half years. One long term relationship. A lot of money spent and wasted. And a lot of money not wasted. Um, a lot of time and energy and effort. And a lot of late nights and a few early mornings, probably not enough early morning. A lot of coffee. A lot of meetings. A lot of people. A lot of energy. But it seems to be working for me and I think it is just a good one.